So let's go over how you can resize your artboard using Adobe Illustrator. There's two different ways you can go about this. You can resize your artboard manually by clicking and dragging, or you can resize it by inputting a specific numerical value. Let me show you how to do both. To do this, we're going to need the Artboards tool, which is located over here in your toolbar, or you could press Shift and O on your keyboard to access it. Once you have enabled that tool, you should see these transformation handles in the corners and the sides of your artboard here. Now, if you click and drag one of these handles, as you can see here, I am resizing my artboard in a freehand way like that. Now, if I wanna resize my artboard in such a way that it preserves the aspect ratio, all I have to do is hold down the Shift key, and as you can see, the aspect ratio is preserved as I resize my artboard. Now, if you wanna scale from the center, all you have to do is press Shift and Alt, and as you can see there, we are scaling with the aspect ratio preserved and from the center like that. And the way these handles on the work, uh, work on the side is you can use these, the handles on the sides to change the width of the artboard, and then you can use the handles on the top to change the height of the artboard like that. Okay, now if you wanna change uh, the artboard size to a specific numerical value, just come up here to the toolbar. You'll notice where it says W, that represents width, and where it says H, that represents height. And you can go ahead and change this here. Now this lock icon in the, in the center represents the aspect ratio. By default, I think it's turned off, but if you turn that on, then your artboard will scale, uh, each dimension will scale in proportion to each other. So if I change this to 1280, this should change to 720 automatically. And now, as you can see, I've resized my artboard to be 1280 by 720. Now, if I don't wanna preserve the aspect ratio, I could just unlock that and I can go back to manually entering in my values like that. And that is how you can resize the artboard using Adobe Illustrator. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Illustrator Explainer series. It's a collection of over 100 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Adobe Illustrator, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.